There it is. The successor's crypt. I've been waiting for you. Please, spin a thread of memory for me. Oh, good. You're finally awake, Emily. What happened? We were surrounded by those monsters, and then... That bastard Mito told me when I woke up. Apparently, he brought us back to life as revenants. And we aren't the only ones. He's done the same thing to Yakumo and the others, too. He's waiting for everyone to wake up. I don't know much else, though. Only two of you woke up? Well, I guess it will have to do. It's time to put you to work. Are you kidding me? Why would we ever listen to you again? Because obedience is your only option. Unless you want me to dispose of your sleeping friends, that is. You son of a... Your task is simple. Defend me from the frenzied queen, laying down your very life should it prove necessary. I expect you to serve me diligently in this purpose. I fought the lost and died again and each time just as I felt something important slip away. The only thing I had to look forward to was the day when Yakumo would finally wake up. Excellent! Your efforts have provided me with a fine sample. The Queen will fall, and humanity's next evolution will blossom. I expect nothing but continued success from you. Just keep Just coming. coming. Mikkel, Mikkel, Emily, Emily we're, falling we're falling back. back. I, can't, I can't... I can't walk, walk anymore. anymore. Come on, Come on fight. 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 It's just, it's a, just bit a bit farther. farther. We're, all, we're going all going back, back home back alive. alive. Hey, we're, we're heading back, back to the front after, after we eat, eat right? right? I want to make, make sure I go out there with a full tank. Are you hanging in there, Emily? I'm just fine. Your own Aguirre really did the trick, Yakumo. The fighting's been hot for a while. Take it easy and watch yourself. What are you doing here? You need to get some rest or else you're gonna be all groggy tomorrow. Listen to Nido forever. It makes it hard for me to fall asleep. Don't worry. I don't intend to let that happen. I promise, one of these days we're going to take our freedom back. And I mean all of us. Together. Yeah, I like the sound of that. I have no idea what I'd do without you guys. It looks like they've got us surrounded. We need to open an exit. I'll create a distraction. I want both of you to use it to escape. Destroying their footing should slow them down. Can you do that, Emily? You bet. Just say when. He saved our hides this time, didn't we? 
Oh, some sharp thinking. It's because I'm always watching you, Yakumo. My body just responded on its own. You're watching me? Oh, um, you know, as an example of what to do. I need to learn how to pull my own weight, right? <laughs> I like your attitude. Looks like we don't have time to sit around and chat. So run while you can. Don't be ridiculous. We aren't going to leave you behind. It's either that or all of us at once. I want at least you two to get out of here. Just like what happened with Nicola. Emily! Don't be reckless. We have to... <laughs> You're kidding, right? You were all alone, Emily. It must have been so hard. But not anymore. I'll bring your suffering to an end. Just hold on. A little while longer. Please, make it quick. I owe you big time for this. What are you doing there, child? Those pitiful creatures have fallen in their attempt to climb. 
No, they're still asleep. That's all. They'll wake up before long. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury to coddle late bloomers. However, their failure will fuel your success, for they will serve as offerings to your ascension. Wait. Whatever you want to do, just do it to me. Oh, an intriguing offer. Keep your grubby fingers off them. Yes, just as I thought. A tempered will has the power to resist the relic's corruption. Soon, humanity will rise to a higher plane of existence, knowing all, transcending all, and eventually consuming all. Just you wait, Gregorio. In the end, I will come for you. Sorry it took me so long to get here, but, well. Don't worry. It was my decision, after all. I... I was supposed to keep you all safe. I'm sorry, Emily. Come on, Yakumo. We like you because you're always pushing forward and not dwelling on the past. Up to you growing up, so pull yourself together already. Sorry, what did I just say? <laughs> You're still as fierce as ever, aren't you? <laughs> I really am glad, though. I didn't think I would ever see you again. Thank you, Yakumo. <laughs> I guess stomachs don't know any better. Sheesh. <laughs> Here, take this. You're Onigiri! So good. Ah, that 
That was wonderful. Are you sure you don't want more? You always wanted more. I'm satisfied. Because, you know... Hey, wait. So, Yakumo... There's something I'd like you to do for me. Do you remember how you used to hold me when I was little? Could you... What? what? us are finally together again. That's all that matters to me. What were you going to say earlier? Hmm? You know, you were saying something. Oh, uh, well... You won't laugh? <laughs> Why would I? I've always loved... Hironagiri! I can't get enough! That's all. <laughs> what, was that it? Well, you're in luck. Because for you, I'm happy to make as many as you like, as often as you want. Good. I'll be waiting. Thank you, Emily. And you got me in your pocket now. You're already carrying a lot on your shoulders. Let's carry it together, okay? Well, time to move. Come on. Let's get going. Just you wait. I swear, I'll make that bastard pay for what he's done.
That was such a moving scene. In fact, I almost found myself laughing. You, Mito. Hmm, interesting. I don't see little Jack anywhere. Dealing with the successors was supposed to be his job. Saves us a search anyway. Your ass, pal! Impressed. My guinea pigs have been gifted with the power of the relics. I must say, I'm grateful to the children, Yakumo. They were excellent test subjects. Damn you! Such an important job. I'm here to take back all of the relics you stole. Oh, and do what with them exactly? After all, your vessel is broken. What are you talking about? Oh my, you didn't notice? I gave your precious Eva a little present. You're under the impression that you allowed her to escape. That is incorrect. I allowed her to escape. That's... I installed a prototype in that lovely throat of hers. But then... That means she was already... Damn you! I imagine that she'll frenzy before long, and a frenzied relic will be compelled to seek Gregorio. Do you suppose she's already wandering the snow-capped mountains? <laughs> Successors, won't you? As for me, I must say farewell to a certain daughter. Get back here, you coward! It can't be, Eva. I have to go find her. I'm doing just fine thanks to you. Thank you for saving me. Knowing that what I did wasn't for nothing, that alone is enough to make me happy. I might be able to leave this place one day. I gave up hoping for it a long time ago, but now, maybe I can do more than hope. That was exhausting. I can still feel my successor somewhere nearby. And that's a I marvelous sign.
be pulled down. We have recovered something valuable. Used to be just ruins here, but now they've been turned into a desert. The successor who created this crypt used their very last ounce of strength as they struggled to resist their relic. The wind scattered salt from a dried up lake over the land nearby, making it barren. Now it's the same kind of desolate place as the one where Eva was born. She and I promised each other that if one of us fell to the thirst, the other would have the last of their humanity. Eva is waiting for me, just over there. I'm talking too much. Anyway, I'm going on ahead. This is between me and Eva. move. We have to. I see something up there. The footing looks bad. memory for me. Hey, hey make, make sure, sure you don't you suck, suck out too much. much. These humans These die, die easily from blood loss. Blood loss. Are you really Are you sure, sure it's safe for us to be snatching humans, humans like this? this? If one of one Silva's dogs, dogs gets wind of what we're doing... doing the ones sitting pretty and getting fat with their levies. We have our rights. You're so annoying. Stop that ear splitting racket. chance to read your letter. Unfortunately, I can't grant your request. I'll come straight to the point. There's no future in being a revenant. Don't throw your life away. Forget the past and live as best you can here.
to think that this was the only way we could find to seal the relics. There's no choice. Letting them frenzy would cause even more suffering. It has to be done. If you can't accept that, then leave. I know that you've got your song to subdue them, but can you really take on more than one relic? It hurts a bit, but I'll be fine. Besides, it's nothing compared to the pain you always carry. It'll be safe here. Let's rest for a while. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Forget it. After all, it is nice to look up at the stars every once in a while. You don't have to fight anymore. Don't worry. It's all gonna be okay. I'll take on the relics now. <laughs> don't try to stop me.
So, it's over. No, this isn't the end. Come on, let's go see her again. What do you say? That's... it's not possible. I was just a possession owned by revenants. My throat was ruined. I couldn't even speak. But he took me in without a second thought. I always felt that I was in his debt. I have a naturally high compatibility. So, if there's any way that my body could possibly be of use to him, then it is his. Even if it costs me my humanity. You're finally awake, Jack. Are you still in pain? I must have fallen asleep. I'm fine. Don't waste your voice on me. This isn't the time for it. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't obey that order. I enjoy singing for you too much. I've put you through far too much. No, you haven't. When I first met you, I had absolutely nothing. You gave me the light of hope. And my voice. Please, don't be sad, Jack. From the moment I took on my role, I knew this would eventually be my fate. But... I was still happy. Because I was with you. Yeah. Me too.
your mission is an important one. So go on, and burn bright, while the candle of life still burns. Eva... Will you sing for me again? One last time? Laughter in the distance Unfamiliar cadence Smell the scent of your youth Fragrant in the breeze Sitting in your bedroom All alone you wait to hear the sound Of a door once locked now opening Every time you're frozen Right. I'm gonna go after Mito. Wait! How do you even know where he is? He's performed countless experiments on the relics. And now, he's stolen the ones inside Eva. I think I know what his plan is. Reviving the Queen. In order to do that, he'll have to take Silva's relic as well. So... Silva's a successor. That's not the only problem. The Red Mist, the jail of the mists that covers the world and deepens Revenant's bloodthirst. The one who created it is none other than Silva. What? Why would Silva do that? Soldiers were needed to fight the Queen when she frenzied. Since humanity had already suffered significant losses, Revenants were created to swell the ranks. In the end, we succeeded in stopping the Queen. But there are still a lot of humans living in the world outside. Without the Red Mist, both starving Revenants and the Lost would be able to roam freely. It was created to prevent further tragedy. Though, I have to admit, if every Revenant was like you, it wouldn't have been as much of a concern. We'll take the path to the fortress. With speed and a little luck, we might catch it. Don't forget. 
Those who carry a relic are always at risk of frenzy. Don't let your guard down, not even for a moment. <laughs> you have sharp eyes, kid. Let's make it another good day. Reviving the Queen. Let's go to the fortress. Have you made your preparations? Please watch your step. government's fortress. Something is strange. What was the original purpose of this place? They do not intend to let us pass. generously prepared for you. All of the lost here... They were your experiments? You're insane! Ah, the main course has just arrived.
can still go after him. Stop right there, Mito. <sighs> Your persistence is tiring. So tell me, just what exactly are you after anyway? What do you have to gain in reviving the Queen? Reviving the Queen? So damn funny! I've collected enough data already. I have no more use for the Queen. Then why? Let me ask you something. Do you ever sit back and wonder why you were created in the first place? Or why revenants have power far beyond that of mere humans? That's simple. Everyone knows it was to stop the Queen when she frenzied. Aren't you forgetting something? The day of the Great Collapse? The creatures that caused all that ruin. Both Revenants and the Queen were created to eliminate those horrors. And yet, they are all still incomplete. I wanted to witness Gregorio's monstrous transformation with my own eyes, but sadly it cannot be. Now, allow me to show you the truth of our world. is unlocked.
red mist is fading? We can go out! We can leave! Yes! We're free! We can finally escape this horrible prison! We've been here so long! The mist isn't fading. All those relics, and yet somehow he still resists. Stubborn fool, I'll finish you with my own hands. How can you still not understand? You all saw them too! The world outside is overrun with creatures that devour everything in their path! They will be the source of even greater strength for all revenants! Evolution is everything! It is our duty, our very hope as a species! Gregorio didn't see that, the blind fool. So he created the Red Mist as a cage and sealed away all his research. He was satisfied with merely eliminating the feeble horrors within his pen and thus foolishly halted the march of progress. But the horrors outside continued to evolve until finally they transcended Revenants and became an existential threat. You fools noticed nothing! Our prison of Red Mist became a barricade, protecting Revenants from the horrors that awaited them beyond its borders. All this time you were being shielded by Gregorio from reaching your true potential. The hypocrisy turns my stomach. But now the time has finally come for us to leave the cradle. Let us all rise and ascend the ladder of evolution together! You bastard. After all you've done, just how many more lives are you willing to sacrifice? Enough, Mito! We won't let you do this! A pity. Those who are too weak to keep up with the speed of progress do not deserve to live. What swill? We will stop you. After all they've done for everyone. The successors will not have suffered in vain. Forgive me, please. That's a win.
Judging by the state of the Red Mist, I'd guess that Silva is in a lull at the moment. Still, he has to be on the brink of frenzy. So it's only a matter of time until... Is there a way we can prevent it? Are you sure about this? It's true that with your ability, you might be able to take on Silva's relic. But if you do, it means taking on Silva's mission as well. You'd be bearing a heavy burden. Our world cannot survive without the power of the Red Mist. And that means you would have to sit on that throne forever. Are you truly prepared to accept that fate? Remember, you're not alone. I may not be able to help you in any tangible way. But at the very least, I'm willing to accompany you on the journey. You've got a big burden to carry there. Good thing I'm around to help lift it. We're friends. We'll fight together. We have recovered something valuable. See if we can climb that.
arrived where the relics gather. Wait a moment. That lost left a vestige behind. There is something somehow familiar about it. I would like to know what memories it contains. Would you show them to me? Even now, Cruz still struggles with all her might as the Queen, locked in a war against herself, desperate to save revenants from their thirst. I wish to lend you my support, to help be your strength. I do not want you to suffer alone, and so I would continue to attend to you, as I have attended to you in the past. After all, that is the duty with which I have been entrusted.
When I first found you, I felt a warmth in my heart. I didn't know why at the time, but you have some sort of strange power over people. Your presence is soothing. to help out. An empty vessel? No, it's... There are lost soldiers. Hold on. Am I hallucinating? There are still revenants that can move around in this chaos. I don't know what outfit you're with, but can you help me gather some important documents? Silva is beginning to frenzy. The effect is causing all the revenants nearby to lose themselves. I'm human, so I don't have to worry about joining the lost. But fleeing here was the best I could do, so if you could bring me any documents you come across, I'd really appreciate it. Fighting each other for a handful of blood beads, and the ranks of the lost swelling with each successive conflict. I spend my restless days in battle, trying to keep my head above water. Only when I'm engaged in the rush of combat can I close my eyes to the gravity of what I've done. Are, are you helping me? These blood beads. Those men lying over there ordered you to find them, right? Well, now you can keep them. Far too many people keep revenants as thralls these days. Stay safe and watch yourself out there. Uh, um, my name is Kevin. I could give you a hand with whatever. I'll see you. Here's what I was able to bring. It's not much, but I hope it helps. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I wish there was some way I could pay you. I do this because I want to. Don't worry about me, all right? Tell me if I can help with something. I'll do whatever I can for you. Travels and in the end, brought to his death. He was someone that I never should have forgotten. It's hard to believe that I could let something so important just slip away. Sorry, I don't mean to bother you, but there may be other memories of mine scattered around. If there are, I'd like to get them back. I may discover things that are painful to confront, 
but I made a decision to face my past head on. Back then, I had no idea what would happen. As Operation Queenslayer dragged on with no foreseeable end, even children were turned into revenants and sent out to fight. And then, when it was over, both the strong and the weak were ravaged by bloodthirst. But with resources thin, they had nowhere to turn. I wanted to do something, to do anything to help. That's honestly all there was to it. It never occurred to me that my actions could lead to such tragedy. Kevin was a boy who had been enslaved by a group of merciless rebels. Over time, stopping by to give him blood beads became something of a routine. But one day, that pattern was broken. When I went to see him, he was nowhere to be found, and his dwelling had been torn apart. I heard everything from someone who said they knew Kevin. A few days earlier, a revenant had attacked him and turned him to ash. The attacker was after the blood beads I'd given Kevin. save him just by giving him blood beads, that it would be enough. But I lacked true commitment to his survival, and in the end, that's what killed him. Actually, I heard another revenant attacked him for those same blood beads shortly after, and he became one of the lost. I won't let myself forget again. Listen up. Our scouts have finally discovered the Queen's location. We're sending you in under orders to track down and destroy any lost in the area. Destroy the lost? But how? We haven't even finished our training yet. You'll learn in the field, Revenant. Protect your heart and you will never die. Your sacrifice will help open a path to the future. Those hellish days went on and on, stealing to survive. To us, it was only natural. I was ordered to take blood beads from other kids, ones that were just like me. As long as they could get beads, they would live. Survival was more bead to bead than day to day. That was when Louis came along and reached out to me. No one had ever done that for me before. It's how our world is. I'm sure you've seen it yourself. There's no shortage of people who will exploit others to make their own lives easier. I have crossed blades with their miserable sword on more than one occasion while I was researching the blood beads. It was a small thing, but I was certain that it would do some good. Louis, why do you why keep do you bringing, bringing blood beads, beads to some, some random, random kid, kid like, like me? me? There isn't, there isn't really, really a particular, particular reason. reason. If I had to I had give to one, one. 
I'd say it's because you were alive when I met you. That's... Don't keep risking your life for me, Louis. You can't. You don't need to worry about me, really. Focus on keeping yourself alive and well. Louis. Louis kept bringing me blood beads, which spared me from the constant struggle other revenants faced over them. There was no fear of being turned to ash or becoming one of the lost. I had blood beads, and that meant I had peace for myself. It was all mine. But, but was that really okay? Shortage must be hitting you too. Here, take them. They're yours. Don't worry about me. Being the only survivor, I'd be boring anyway. And, you know, we rely on each other to survive, right? That's what people do. You're that, You're that crazy, crazy kid, kid that's been passing out blood beads, aren't you? Maybe. Maybe. What if I am? If you've got, if you've so, got many so many lying around, around then how about you pass some along to us? us. After, After all, all, we've been hurting, hurting since one of our, our kids, kids turned lost. lost. I don't have that many. Even, Even if, if I, did, I did, I wouldn't I give a single, single beat to bastards, bastards like you. You, you stupid, stupid punk. punk. In that In case, we'll just take him by force. some of the other revenants. He wasn't stupid. He had to have known what would happen if he did something like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I'm afraid it's so funny. <laughs> but I don't, I don't regret what I did. When I gave out those blood beads, I felt like I was taken back by humanity. For a brief moment, I felt like I was truly alive. It was because of you. Thanks to you, Louis. I wonder if I was able to become even a little bit like you. Goodbye. sense of dedication before you can truly say you've saved someone. It's just self-deception to feel like you've helped after giving no more than handouts. But at the same time, I'd be a coward if I only sat back and watched while doing nothing. Even if I'm deceiving myself, I have to keep fighting. And if I fail to help, I'll face up to what I've done. But I also won't let that stop me from trying to help others. That's what I've decided. I couldn't save Cruz. Even when she begged for my help, I wasn't strong enough to do what was necessary. Now, this is all I can do for her. And the world. It doesn't change what happened. Or the fact that I'm responsible for Kevin's death. However, I appreciate you sharing his memories with me. Thank you.